Oh, hello. Hi, guys. Like your host said, my name's Murad. Uh, in Arabic, Murad means wished for. At the airport, it means randomly selected. <laughs> it's good to be with you guys. For the rest of the show, I will be going by my DJ name, Shadi Arabia. So please <laughs> follow me on SoundCloud. <laughs> I know the way I look confuses people. I'm very racially ambiguous, I know. I feel like any time I enter a room full of new people, they just treat me like a riddle they're trying to solve, you know? <laughs> they're trying to figure out where I'm from, like it's a game. They look me up and down and they're like, how do I hate this guy properly? <laughs> My race comes up at weird times. I remember back in high school, we had a CIA recruiter stop by, cause that's okay. <laughs> Singles me out and says, see, we'd recruit somebody like you cause we could stick you anywhere. Brazil, Egypt, Middle Earth, Atlantis, Wakanda, it doesn't really matter, you know? <laughs> People can't really racially place me, will call me a person of color. We're all familiar with this term, right? It's woke, but I'm not sure why. It feels like white people just figured out how to say colored again. You know, they just added some extra syllables to it, thought they'd get away with it. Sneaky devils. <laughs> Sorry, I keep looking directly at you, sir. You're my closest white point of reference. <laughs> don't see what problem person of color solves, you know? To me, that'd be like saying, hey man, did you hear about those terrorists? Whoa, whoa, buddy. People of terror, okay? Let's be <laughs> inclusive. <laughs> a lot of people ask me if I'm black. The conversation always goes the same way. It's, uh, hey man, are you black? Well, I'm Egyptian. Oh, so you're African. Yeah, so you're black. <laughs> What's this guy think? Decide right now. <laughs> black or no black, the world's worst game show. <laughs> it's okay, usually people just panic and say mix, and I'm like, of what, herbs and spices? Be specific. <laughs> Cause here's the thing, I'm North African, that does sound kind of black. But on the other hand, white people had to start somewhere, right? <laughs> We're all from Africa, you guys can just pop up at a farmer's market in Vermont, you have to start somewhere. <laughs> Maybe I'm just how white people used to look. Maybe I'm the prototype. <laughs> the Ford Model T of honkies. <laughs> Here's my take on it. I'd love to be black. I'd love to be on the team. I just don't think the team wants me. <laughs> Cause if I say I'm black, people are like, who are you kidding? You're not black. <laughs> but if I say I'm not black, people are like, what are you ashamed of being black? <laughs> it's like, what race do I have to be to walk away from this conversation? <laughs> Cause North African sounds kind of black, but I have a very pale skin tone and Egypt is right there by Greece and Greek food is just Arab food with too much fucking yogurt on it anyway. <laughs> At the same time though, you know, put me in a sweater, give me a chain, I look like I run a hookah lounge. <laughs> Maybe a pawn shop or a bail bonds office. In all three cases, it will be named Aladdin's, just to be clear. <laughs> I like being Egyptian, it's a cool exotic place to be from, lots of history, but when you're Egyptian, people ask you stupid questions. They ask if you speak hieroglyphics. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I guess I use a lot of emojis. Is that what you're asking? <laughs> but my least favorite question is, do you think aliens built the pyramids? That's a racist ass conspiracy theory, right? Cause that's just white people being like, nah, <laughs> y'all couldn't build those. Not the kebab people. <laughs> it must've been aliens, white aliens <laughs> from space, Texas. <laughs> My parents brought me to this country speaking English, not Arabic. They never taught me Arabic because they didn't want me to have an accent growing up. They didn't want me to get bullied here in the States, which is a bummer because I can't hold a conversation with half my family and that really breaks my heart. But they did teach me Arabic swears real good. <laughs> so much better than English swears. English swears are boring. English swears are just like, ooh, fuck you, dick. But Arabic swears, one of my favorites is Yechrit bit ummek. You can tell by the amount of phlegm in that statement that it's a hard burn. <laughs> it means a curse upon your mother's house. <laughs> The first time I heard that shit was on the playground. I was like, dude, you're taking hopscotch way too seriously. But my favorite Arabic swear is aha, aha. I know that doesn't sound like a word, it's because it's not. It's because in Arabic, aha is supposed to be the noise you make when you come. <laughs> and that's a general all-purpose curse in Arabic. I love that. <laughs> I wish we had an equivalent in English, I really do. I wish in the middle of an argument in English, I could be like, you know what, dude? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes I do an O face to a silent crowd and it sucks. So thank you <laughs> for not being that. <laughs> Feel like I disappointed my immigrant parents though because I dated a Republican. Worked for the GOP too, that's a true story. <laughs> but I was kind of into it because I'm a dirty little immigrant boy and I need to be punished. <laughs> I 
Uh, it's good to see you guys all out supporting live comedy during such a fucked up year. I knew this year was fucked up once people born in the year 2000 started talking to me about inflation. <laughs> what? What the fuck? How bad is the problem that it made it down to you? <laughs> is the NASDAQ on TikTok? How do you know about this? <laughs> Trying to get my mental health more in check this year. Uh, like, I have a lot of anxiety. I have ADHD. Clap it up if you have ADHD. Yeah? All right, I'll assume the rest of you weren't paying attention. Okay. <laughs> I always thought ADHD just meant you had a short attention span. Turns out it's way more than that. You know, you have trouble estimating time, object permanence, emotional regulation. It's way more than short attention span. But it's called attention deficit hyperactive disorder because that's the part that pisses people off. You won't stop fidgeting and you can't pay attention. <laughs> It's a mean way to name a mental illness, right? It'd be like calling depression buzzkill syndrome or something. <laughs> People with ADHD are very overstimulated. You know, they're always looking for their next dopamine fix. That's why they can't focus. I know I'm overstimulated because I open Instagram right after I come. I don't wait a second. I don't wait even a second. I'll just bust, open Instagram, see a photo of my friend's whole family, be like, ah, oh, fuck, I should take a shower. Ugh. <laughs> Don't pretend that's not relatable. That is incredibly relatable. <laughs> oh, I had a tough start to my year. I had to get a colonoscopy recently. Okay, butt stuff fan up here. That's cool. <laughs> uh, colonoscopy prep sucks. You have to fast for 24 hours. You can only have clear liquids, no solids. The closest thing you can have to a solid is jello. And I didn't have any jello because I'm not a fucking mom from the 40s. <laughs> so I go to the grocery store, try and find some jello, can't find it. I'm anxious, I'm nervous about the procedure. I go to an employee, I'm like, Doc, where's the jello? To which he responded, Oh, jello? Like, for jello shots? <laughs> That's a weird first association to make with jello, right? They'd be like, Oh, you need lotion? Like, for jacking off? <laughs> I was pretty nervous heading into the procedure because I was there to find out if I had colon cancer or not. Uh, don't worry, I don't. Uh, didn't know it at the time though. Was comforted when I walked into the procedure room, saw the tiny little camera they shove up your butt. I don't know why I was expecting like a GoPro or a DSLR. <laughs> but what didn't comfort me was the weird, rude Russian doctor I had who felt the need to emphasize to me that I was the youngest person he'd ever given a colonoscopy to. <laughs> I don't know why he had to give me that honor. I don't think I got a fucking student discount or anything. <laughs> and he proved it by showing me the whole list of every single patient getting a colonoscopy that day with all their private information. <laughs> he goes, look, patient, 60, 70, 8 years old. Then you, 25. <laughs> I am Russian. No data is private. <laughs> oh, come on. That's a woke joke. You can be xenophobic to Russians. Nobody cares. <laughs> Also, he wasn't Russian, he was Chinese, but I can't do that accent on stage. <laughs> anyway, guys, this has been my time. Get over your host. Woo!